Aloha everyone, my name is Kar and welcome to my channel. In this vlog I'm going to give you an oversight of three campgrounds in Kauai I stayed at during my island trip. So stay put because I'm going to give you all the pros and cons of each campsite, show you the premises and any additional useful information you may need for your upcoming camping trip. Up first, Anini Beach. This is a splendid camping spot and no wonder so many people choose to stay here when going camping in Kauai. It is cheap and costs only $3 per person per night. You can camp right at the shoreline and enjoy the most magical sunrises and sunsets here. I've also heard that if you fish here during the day, you apparently can stay free of charge, but don't quote me on that. Just be prepared to wake up at the crack of dawn each day because the free roaming roosters set the alarm for you. The campgrounds are really efficient and well kept. You park your car 60 meters from the beach and there's ample parking spots so no worries there. You can park it so you have it in sight of where you pitch your tent and it's easy to unload all the things and make the short walk to your tent spots. The camping ground boasts multiple outdoor showers, obviously cold showers, and a toilet facilities which is relatively clean. There are also multiple sinks spread around the campgrounds where you can wash your dishes and tables to enjoy your meals. This camping is very kid friendly. We stayed here with my sister's two year old and so many other tourists stayed here with their young children. And we also immediately bonded with our neighbors. Shout out to Gabriel, we miss you. And people were just very friendly and even watched over our tent when we were out for the day. So overall, I felt very safe here. But of course, just in case, never leave your valuables inside your tents. Anini Beach also has lifeguards during the day, even though the water is always extremely calm, making it the perfect spot for snorkeling and swimming. I even swam with turtles here multiple times. Once a week, from Tuesday 10 a.m. until Wednesday 12 a.m., the camping has to be vacated completely for maintenance. And also make sure to print out your permit and hang it on the outside of your tent as they come and check occasionally. And I have been told that tents without a permit may get removed. I rate this campground a 9 out of 10 and highly recommend it to anyone searching for a kid-friendly, safe, community feel environment. The location is also excellent, it's super close to Hanalei Bay and Hayena Beach which are super popular spots. And overall this place takes the cake and I would go back in a heartbeat. Up next, my favorite camping spot, Polihale State Park. So to get here is a bit of a journey in itself and requires driving on a rugged dirt road with potholes and other things that can easily take apart your car. This bit of the drive is approximately one hour, but I actually quite enjoyed it though. Just make sure your vehicle is equipped for the journey with all wheel drive to avoid getting stuck, which is exactly what happened to me, not during the drive, but as we arrived at the parking spot of campsite two. Anyways, this place is a real gem with the most breathtaking backdrop ever of the Napali coast. This is kinda once of a lifetime camping spot I would say. If you're looking for that secluded camping adventure where you're completely cut off from society and the daily hustle and bustle, then this is the right spot for you. This paradise does come with its own set of rules and guidelines to ensure your stay here. So to pitch your tent you'll need to budget $35 per night and you'll need to book your stay well in advance via the official government website. We booked our stay around two months prior and I'm glad we did else we wouldn't have been able to secure a spot here but also only a certain amount of people are allowed to stay in the park per night so availability is kind of hard to come by especially for last minute reservations. Upon arrival at the park state park patrols will verify your permits sometimes even multiple times in fact they checked our permit twice in the same night ensuring adherence to park regulations and amongst those rules camping near the toilet facilities is mandatory for safety purposes Purposes. Also remember, maintaining cleanliness is paramount here, littering or cluttering is strictly prohibited. And this is going to be a bit of a bummer to hear, but drinking alcohol and smoking is not allowed here. But it's also an opportunity to embrace the tranquility of your surroundings and immerse yourself fully in nature without distractions. Despite the remote location, Polihale State Park offers the essential amenities. They have a public open shower complex and toilets which are pretty well maintained. There's of course no electricity or other modern comfort one may need and cell phone service goes in and out as well just be advised this spot is also quite popular for buggy enthusiasts and surfers just be aware that there are no lifeguards here so when in doubt don't go out in conclusion Polihale State Park offers a real unique camping experience and earns a rating of 10 out of 10 I loved every minute of my stay here I never got bored and just enjoyed lying around on the beach during the day and stargazing at night it was an absolute dream Number three, Anahola Beach. So I only had a brief stint at Anahola and this was the day of our arrival in Kauai. It was the campsite nearest to the airport so it made sense as we were arriving late to the island. 
I'll be very honest in this review about this particular campsite, it really wasn't my favorite place, perhaps because it pales in comparison to Anini and Polihale, but there are a few other factors that contributed to my rating. So, first off, this is more of a campsite for locals, which I found out about when I arrived, but also heard about it later on in my stay on the island from other campers. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but we experienced during our stay that this is a late night hangout spot for groups of friends, hanging around their cars, drinking and having a good time. So for us traveling with a baby that needs to sleep, it just was not ideal because they were quite loud. We didn't see that many tourists around, so we felt a bit isolated, perhaps. There were also some abandoned cars on the far end of the campsite filled with junk and we weren't sure if anybody was living there or not, but it just looked a bit shady. But of course, there are also some positives. First, the toilet and shower amenities were very similar to the other campgrounds and were just fine. And there were also various spots around the campgrounds with tables to comfortably have your food. Secondly, the parking was very easy and comfortable. You could literally park your car around 30 meters from your tent and keep an eye on it, which was great. Price-wise, the campsite cost $3 per person per night, just like Anini Beach, so it's super cheap and the view of the ocean is of course spectacular, you cannot debate that. Another plus point, this beach has lifeguards during the day, but overall the water was quite calm and safe from our own experience. And last but not least, the location is not bad at all, it's on the east coast of the island closer to Wailua and about 30 minutes from Lihue. Be aware that Anahola Beach Park Campgrounds closes each Thursday at 10 a.m. for maintenance and reopens at 12 p.m. each Friday. Overall, I rate this campground a 7.5 out of 10. Again, this is based on a one-night stay and we didn't get to experience the campgrounds much during the day either because we were out sightseeing. But in my opinion, I definitely preferred the other campgrounds a bit more. That's it guys, I hope this vlog was useful for you and now you have a better idea of where to stay in Kauai if you decide to go camping. Don't forget to like and subscribe or drop a comment below. Mahalo!